to meet you here in sunny, sunny Copenhagen. I really love it. Lars, please, be so kind, introduce yourself a little bit for audience and explain especially where we are here now. I'm Lars, uh, I'm the director of sales for, for Tivoli Gardens. Yeah. Right now we're in the heart of, of Tivoli, the, the planning area where we do uh, big concerts, uh, big uh, corporate events. And uh, last week we did a petang tournament here. This Friday we're hosting uh, Mr. Tom Jones, who's oh. playing on the, on the stage. <laughs> Mr. Sex Bomb. Mr. Sex Bomb. <laughs> this is great. So we do almost everything here, everything from corporate events and right now just people relaxing, enjoying, enjoying the atmosphere. Yeah, this, yeah. this is an amazing huge space. How many people you can put here when Tom Jones is playing? What do you think? About, about 15,000 in total in this whole area. Uh, 15,000. But for a corporate event with, uh, with dinner or yeah. standing reception, usually about three or 4,000 uh, guests we can host in this, in this main area. Uh, a question for food and beverage. I saw when I came in, there was also a, a Tivoli food, food hall center. Is this then the main, you know, a place where you pre prepare the food and beverages for the for the events, uh, guests? No, actually not. Actually, the, the Nimp Hotel over here is operating all of our catering for, for Tivoli. So, yeah. so all of our catering for large events anyway. So we have a, a separate um, catering department, uh, which is part of Nimp, our, our five-star hotel. Uh, but we also have the food hall over here, so we have about 60 different uh, food outlets, many different restaurants around oh, around the garden. 4,600 people can have dinner here at one time in the Alacant wow. restaurants. So it's wow. quite, quite a large uh, restaurant venue. This is uh, this is really a lot of uh, when when we talk about so many people and so many people come here, and you know we are in a green area. This is I was deep I am deep impressed about the Tivoli Garden because. It is so green, you know, it is not only, let's say, a circus, it's not a kirmes, how we say in Germany. It is really a space where you, where you can come down. You find different restaurants, you find a, a lake, a lake I saw, things like that. But when we talk about that, we need to talk about also about sustainability. Is this a, yeah. is this a strong challenge for you? I mean, it, it's a it's a work in progress for us. Of course, we've been working with sustainability uh, for for years. All of our, all the light bulbs you see in the trees, all the, there's one million light bulbs in Tivoli, and they're all LED, for instance. So we conserve energy. We have uh, recyclable uh, plastic cups. So you you. Uh, you pay five Danish kroner for, per cup and you get the money back when you turn it in in one of those machines over here. So, so we are working with the, on sustainability also for the, for the food in our restaurants, trying to, to increase the percentage of organic food used in the amusement park. Um, and right now what we're working on is, is new energy agreements for the park. That's where we are really focusing the next few years to, to, become, uh, to become very sustainable, uh, more than we are today. So we are using wind power to power some of the, some of the park, but, but not all of it. So we still have a way to go. Great, great. When we talk about sustainability, there's one restaurant I have in mind and it's popular all over the world. When I say to you the word Gemüse, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can do something with this. <laughs> exactly. That, that was one of our traditional restaurants that changed its name back in 2017 and yeah. became a, a not 100% organic, but almost a, a vegetable restaurant. So the, the main character of the restaurant is, is the vegetables and and uh, it's popular all over the world uh, so it's uh, you can get meat or fish but usually the menu consists of, of vegetables uh. <laughs> now i'm curious i'm hungry and let's walk on to the gemüse <laughs> let's go so Lars, we are sitting in the lovely garden of the gemüse restaurant here in tivoli tivoli is a it's a historical. It's a historical place in Copenhagen. Is this, is this correct? Can you explain a little bit for our audience about the history of Tivoli? Definitely, Tivoli has been around since 1843. So, so we're turning 179 years this this year, and we are uh, we are one of the most visited uh, amusement parks in in the Nordics. 4.6 million guests every year. But it's not just an amusement park, it's also a park, a garden, uh, restaurants and, and of course the rides. Uh, and we are really a place for, uh, for everybody. Um, people come here to relax, they come here to have fun, they come here for weddings or for, for uh, the baptism of the, the, of the children or they, they go here for concerts. So a little bit of everything I would say. 
And nowadays, another argument to come for groups and many people is this restaurant place. Is this right? Definitely. This Gemüse restaurant is an um, all vegetable restaurant and it's uh, Michelin recommended. Uh, we have a lot of large events and groups in here from all over the world. Um, this restaurant went uh, the organic way back in 2017 and it's been very successful. Uh, and we are, it's actually one of our oldest uh, buildings in, in Tivoli, uh, but it, it works really well for. For, for, for as an organic restaurant. No, uh, no. Now I have two secrets I know about this place. First of all, the food is delicious. And second of all, the queen also likes to eat here. She likes to have dinner here. Yeah. <laughs>